Hello, and welcome to Grid 2 Uncovered live stream number 5. I'm Lee from Codemasters. Um, joined, joining me this week, uh, I've got Ross and Joe. Say hello, guys. Hi there. Hello. Uh, also in the room, man in the chat box, as ever, is Ben. Say hello, Ben. Hello. Um, Luke's back from his holidays. <laughs> Luke, hello. say hello. hello. Uh, and also in the room is Alex from the video department. Hello. And the man from the audio department, whose name I forgot. Chris. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, Ross and Joe, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, join us this week on the live stream. No um, Joe, you made a very bold claim earlier when you was up here when we were doing a quick test. You really? said, yeah. you said that you have played Grid Two more than anybody else in the building. I believe that's correct. Yes. How many How many hours have you put into Grid Two? Uh, playing tracks alone, I'd go for hundred plus. A hundred plus hours yeah. already. I think, yeah, more, more. Is it still good after 100 plus hours? Oh, you're asking the wrong guy the wrong question. No, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, absolutely brilliant. Love it. It's really good. What's your normal job then, day to day? Uh, I'm game designer. I help with the AI. I uh, basically do the benchmark times. So all the guys out there who can't beat me on the hardest setting, I'm the person they shout at. <laughs> uh, and that would be my job, really, is a day to day basis. I just sit there, go around the track, making sure the AI is doing what it's supposed to be doing, helping along with Neil Atkins. And uh, making sure you know they're not crashing on the lines and stuff. They're just taking their paths correctly, and everything's going okay. What about you, Ross? What do you do day to day? Uh, I'm the senior game designer, uh, working under the chief designer, and so I have to keep uh, an overview of um, both the single player and the multiplayer uh, gameplay balancing, UI as well. A little bit of everything, really. Uh, so yeah, just just keeping a handle on things, making sure we're getting towards our deadlines, and uh, and everything's uh, tip top quality. Right, so we've got a game to get out, ready for, ready for the end of May. Yep. Is it all ready? We're, we're, we're close, we're close, we're confident that we're going to be in the right place at, at the right time, so uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling good about it, I must say, yeah. Awesome. What's it going to be like finally getting the game out there into the wild and letting the players have a go? Uh, it's, that's always the best bit of any project you work on. Do you really. not get nervous? Uh, no, I mean, no, I think we've got such a great team working, uh, you know, from from the top to the bottom of Codemasters. I'm really confident that it, we, you know, we've we've got everything where it where it should be, you know, nearly there. And uh, and yeah, it really is the exciting bit. Once once the game's released, people can play it. You know, we can all play it um, amongst our friends, share them all what we've been slaving away on for uh, for some time now. And, uh, and yeah, it's it's a real highlight once it's out there. Okay, awesome. Um, right, guys, what we've got for you this week. Um, we showed you a little bit of this last week. We showed you off some of the vehicle customization. Um, what we're going to try and do this week is design two community cars uh, with you guys that are watching along on Twitch. Um, basically, what we're going to what we're going to do, we're going to show you off sort of a couple of a uh, couple of the different options. Um, we're going to get you to, I suppose, vote in a way, um, submit your favourites over to us, and uh, we'll pick the one that we think is the most popular and try and build a car from the ground up. Um, might be a bit interesting, uh, so we'll see how we get on. Um, as you can see, this is the garage. Um, we're also in the Nissan Fair Lady Z. Um, this is basically what the screen's going to look like when you're doing uh, the customization. So we've got 54 liveries sort of all here and ready to go. A um, couple of different options, uh, as you can imagine, lots of different designs. Um, what I think we should do for probably the first one, we're going to get you guys to vote. Um, We've got this one here, which is my personal favourite of the dinosaur. Um, we've also got the dragon. It's a very cool one. <laughs> and we've got the, the shark slash tiger moth theme. Um, so I'll let you guys, if you guys want to chat away uh, in the box and let Ben know uh, what it is that you want to pick. And we'll go with the most popular one and go from there. Um, Ross. All of the different options that we've got, we had a, a number that was batted around last week of there's a possible of about six billion different combinations <laughs> if you include all paint types and variables and wheels and things like that. Right. How accurate is that number? Uh, I think whoever's worked it out has taken the time to work it out accurately. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll back that to the hill. Yeah. <laughs> it's not I just pulled out the number. What? How many sort of options have we got? Um, well, I mean, we've got uh, as you just said, we've got about like fifty-four different patterns that can be applied on there, um, and then each pattern has four different layers to it, so you can get four different colours um, on on each one. Um, each colour can be. Uh, 
wait, wait, we've got a choice of 15 different base colors, and then you can use sliders to like get, get a particular shade that you want. We've also got, I think it's four or five different paint types. So ranging from like matte paint all the way through to um, pearlescent paint. You, you sometimes see cars out there where it's got that kind of petroly effect where, where the light shimmers across it and it changes color. You can, uh, you can mix all those around. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can, I can well imagine that, yeah, by the time you, you start going through the combinations, yeah, you, uh, you really can get up to, to six billion. Yeah. Ben, do we have a winner for shark, dinosaur, We've probably got or dragon? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? Just. Just. What was second? In too close to call. Too close to call. Right, okay. So, dinosaur it is. Right, there we go. It's very easy sort of customising. Um, I'll sort of muddle through the options so obviously we've selected our pattern now we want to go on to pick our colors um i've got the base color here right very quickly guys um sort of vote for a base base color i'll quickly flick through them all on the screen obviously green blue red pink purple and you can see the part that it's changing um so if you guys want to shout back in the comments box we'll um we'll go whatever you color you guys dis, uh, decide um ross tell us a little bit about sort of how the whole garage system works in comparison to like the first game uh, so I mean in the in the first game the garage kind of evolved in in quite a subtle way and uh, you know it did reflect how you you, you moved through the game uh, this time around we wanted to do that even better than before so uh, we've actually got three different garages that you'll experience throughout the game when you start out you're kind of in this quite humble beginning um, sort of your, your own garage kind of thing and then um, uh, as as World Series racing starts to, to grow, you'll, uh, you'll be provided with shinier, better digs. Um, and then towards the end of the game, uh, we've got the, the kind of the, the awesome supercar showroom stuff that we're, we're really proud of. And we haven't shown any of it just yet because we really want that to be a nice, a nice treat for, for people out there playing the game. So yeah, it goes hand in hand with how you're growing into a global racing superstar alongside World Series racing. Cool. Ben, have we got a colour? Uh, black and blue. Black, black and blue. So black base. What you can do is if you switch the paint type for uh, to flip or pearlescent. Ah, right. Okay, yeah, we can you, literally go black and blue. Yeah, and then. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you should. Yeah, as you pan the camera around, you can see there it's kind of changing in the light. Maybe yeah, if you should we go a bit lighter. Uh, yeah, if you go with the light blue, then yeah, you can see how that that switches around and. Uh, if you do with the pearlescent paint as well, you can see a similar sort of effect. Uh, there you go. S slightly more. There you go. Well, that looks cool. Right, okay, we're going with that one. Cool. Right, back out there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I've done it wrong, I've done it wrong. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Pearlescent, black, and blue. There we go, select. Right, okay. So this is now the part where we're fiddling with our different layers. Um, I've got two lots of black on there, so I think we're going to have to change that. Um, oh, I don't know, what's a good colour for a dinosaur? What do you reckon? Should we go, should we go for blue on the back? The is that going to work? Yeah, yeah that does yeah. look pretty, pretty sweet. And then when that tuned up with the, 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 the bonnet catching the slightly blue tone as well, I think that'll look, uh, look good. I want more flip paint. <laughs> now you've tried it, you just love it. Yeah. Right, okay, we're going with that one. Um, we need a colour for the dinosaur. Ben, people in the chat box, we need a colour for the dinosaur. Um, you need to pick. Pick a colour for the dinosaur. Lovely pink. There's a lovely pink. Lovely yeah. pink. <laughs> Stay away from the purple so it doesn't look like that TV dinosaur, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, with all the different modes that we've got in the game, um, covering everything from sort of the race, tow, drift... Um, we've got the live route system that's in there as well, obviously. If you had to pick sort of one favourite, what's it going to be? Uh, oh, it might it might be uh, a slightly controversial one, but I, I'm going to go with race. Race? Um, yeah, You're straight racer. See, yeah. I like checkpoint. Oh, checkpoint, checkpoint, yes, that's checkpoint, my checkpoint is awesome. But uh, yeah, I mean, the grid is all about the race. We, we say that a lot, but I mean, we really mean it. It's, uh, you know, 12 cars in a pack. I, I don't think you can get any better than that, really. Ben, have we got a colour for the dinosaur? I'm quite liking this pink I've picked. Yeah, I was thinking I'd go with white. White? Yeah. Right, okay, we're going for a white dinosaur. Uh, I'm going to finish him off. I think we should give him 
uh, what's going to work here? I think we should give him some red. No, pink. Yes, that's disco, that is. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's the, uh, the disco fair lady Z. Um, also, as well, what we've got in the game, something that you didn't quite have customised. Not a massive thing, but something you didn't have sort of an option for uh, in the first grade. You can now customise your wheels. Um, so... Yeah, so if you drop yeah, down to wheels, then there's plenty here that you can pick from. And uh, then you can adjust the size of them as well if you use the uh, use the bumpers. So you can get... Uh, so you can have some massive over-the-top yeah, rims. A hefty set of rims on there. There are a lot of wheels. Oh, which one? Big rims are always my favourite ones. I'm liking them. Because drift. Go for right, it. Right, we're going to turn them up. What yeah, do you think? Keep going. Go on. Yeah. There we go. Is that too big? Oh, no, that's no, the it's smallest. Too big. There we go. Right. And then, uh, yeah, Huge go giant on. rims. I think we're gonna have to change the colour of them though. Um, I'm, I'm thinking disco green. Pink. I, I'd, oh. I'd go with silver. I think we're complementing. <laughs> no, no, look at that. Um, <laughs> actually, that is pretty special. I don't yeah. think we could have made a worse looking car if we tried. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll do that then. That's gonna be our car for the evening. Um, what we've got here is something that some also knew that we've added into the game. Uh, we've got a store, basically. So before, it was always a case if you had that one livery that you carried across the game. And you, I, when I was playing it, I was always tweaking it uh, right. and sort of changing it as I was going. Um, but something that's pretty cool that we've added now is obviously the, uh, the store and recall fun function. So we're going to store that one. Um, that's some of the ones that I was making earlier. Uh, New setting, we'll call that raw. <laughs> I'm not liking the wheels, they're too big for me. <laughs> Go back down I'm not feeling it, I'm not sensory, feeling it, I'm yeah. sorry. You want a bit more, uh, I want more rubber. A bit more movement in the tyre wall, dear. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. There's our car. All nice and ready. Gravy. That is the very first Grid 2 community car. Um, We'll try and get some screenshots of that later and sort of share it with you all later. We'll see what we can do. Um, but we want to see that out on track when Grid 2 launches. If, if you're racing in this car, we're going to know that you were one of like the original guys back in the day. Back before Grid was out, you're one of the cool guys. So if we see that out on the track, then you'll get a hat tip from us. Um, right, we better do some racing then, I think. Um, I'm going to hand over to, uh, hand over to Joe. Just let me flick that over. Um, oops. Okay, I'll let you Thank get you. ready for the race. Um, Ross, we're going to the Court des Yep. Have I said that right? Uh, nearly. I think close uh, enough. <laughs> yeah, it's I fine. Had, I had trouble with Toad last week. <laughs> Toge. <laughs> Toge, yeah, we had the big argument of Toge and Toge last week. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing a face-off event. So this is like uh, this is like the very this is a one-on-one -on -one race. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a real uh, a real pitch battle. Between uh, between you and one other, all the way to the uh, to the finish. So, uh, I think uh, we can have we can have faith in uh, in Joe's skills just to uh, put even more pressure on him there. You're the only yeah. person to have faith in my skills. <laughs> <laughs> and we should you point know. out that you're racing on very hard. Of course, there's no difficulty, <laughs> is there? You're, very, you're like, I want it on very, very hard. hard. Mr. Tyso comes in normally each week and he's like, oh, uh, just put it on hard for me. He doesn't want to go all the way. No, but yeah, no. you're going very hard. Yeah. We have a, we have a bit of a, a problem with uh, with Joe and his game attack. Uh, and him and Neil, no one in the studio will put them on their friends list because they just ruin every leaderboard for all of us. <laughs> Top times, every time, we can't touch them. Right, okay. We'll shut up and keep quiet for a bit and we'll let you enjoy the race. Um, this is Court du Jour and we'll talk to you soon.
There you go, guys. That was Court Uh That's the first time you guys have ever seen that. It's also the first time you guys have ever seen the uh, Fair Lady Z as well. Uh, so we hope you liked it. Um, I've had a couple of questions actually that have popped into the chat box. Uh, I think you're probably the best person to, uh, to answer these for us. Um, it's sort of spinning off a little bit about what we were talking about uh, last week when we had the ball scene from Grace um, and sort of how more we play it um, Something that's come up that was a little boy the next word we've got his name and it had IR in it. Um, I suppose, first off, what does, tell everybody what IR stands for and how it works sort of in the game when you play on one platform. Okay, sure thing. Um, IR stands for impact rating, and and this is uh, how we uh, how we sort of rank players on how cleanly they race, really. Um, so if you're out there keeping to your lines, you know, not not hassling other people, then you kind of uh, deem to be a very clean player. And we'll try and match you off against other clean players. You know, you clearly enjoy your racing and don't just want a mash up. So we will we'll keep you with like-minded people. And then um, then you know people who who, who want to uh, to play a bit dirty and you know perhaps perhaps not stick to uh, stick to gentlemanly racing. They're kind of grouped with each other. I've got to be honest. I'm a bit like that, aren't I? Oh, I am. Yeah, I'm a paint uh, trader. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll, you'll get paid, paired up with uh, with other paint traders, and uh, and you should all have a, a good time as a result. And then the uh, the guys who, who want to keep it clean can uh, can go off and uh, and do that themselves. Um, if you uh, if you get get bored of trading paint and want to clean your act up a bit, then uh, if you you stick to then doing clean races, eventually your your impact rating will come round and you'll be you'll be matched up with the clean guys as well. Um, so yeah, it's just trying to make sure that everyone everyone gets the most out of it and everyone races against people who uh, who want to race the same way as they do. So, say for example, if um, say I'm hosting a lobby or I just want to play with just clean drivers is that something the game will just do automatically for me what if I'm a what if I'm a clean driver but all of a sudden I want to have a dirty race how can I do that uh, what you can do is you can set up a, a custom lobby uh, and then you can disable the impact rating system and uh, then it won't count against you so yeah if you and your mates want to go in there and yeah see how much of each other's paint you can uh, end up with on your car or how many bits of missing pieces of bodywork, then yeah, you can just flip that off and away you go, knock yourselves out. So plenty of options to customise on multiplayer then, if the players are really in control of sort of how the race plays Yeah, out. absolutely. I mean, our, our, our levelist playing field is um, online playlists, which is kind of uh, the, the ranked way of, of, of playing the game where um, there's no host advantage. All the, uh, all the, the, the tracks and, uh, and which cards you're allowed to use are all served up by the game. Um, and so yeah, you're all out there, even playing fields and uh, impact rating is all taken into account and yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a balanced way to do it or customise whatever you want to do in a custom session yourself Awesome um, Right, swinging straight back around to customisation um, This is our second car of the evening um, This car is a very special car to everybody here at Codemasters um, The chief game designer on the Dirt series any of our Codemasters fans which are sort of our rally series has just purchased one of these um, So what we're going to do is we're going to ruin it <laughs> um, we'll go the same as we did before we'll, we'll let you guys sort of vote on your livery um, oh, I don't know where to start what should we do do we want to go like dinosaur route or should we go something a bit more a bit more sort of squares and blocks um, we could pick a number yeah that's a good way pick a number right there you go we've got 54 guys absolute potluck pick a number between 1 and 54 We'll go with that livery and then sort of go from there. Can I uh, say 21? 21? 21. What does no. 21 look like? Let's have a look. Whoa. That's not a bad one. Nice. That's not a bad choice. I think uh, Joe actually owns a shirt that looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, pick a number. Five. Five? Ugh, you're all the way down here. That's not bad? No. Nah. No? No. No, you don't want that one. Alex? 33. 33. That's your age, isn't it, Alex? I think it might be. <laughs> that's my IQ. <laughs> well, that's not a bad shout. Nice. I think that's the one. I like that. that cool. Yeah. Very American. Nice. What have we got, Ben? Have we got any good... Is there, is there a regular number that's striking you? <laughs> and in, in the chat box? I think every number. Every number's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> What was the last? What's, what's, what number have you got on screen now? We'll go with that. Uh, Forty-four. Forty-four. Who read that out? Uh, Calitis. I think it is. Cal Calitis. Yep. There we go. This car is for you, Cal. Right. 
That's not bad. I quite like the look of that. Yeah. It's got a bit of honeycomb to it. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to fiddle through some of the options on this. I think we need a base colour. We'll let people pick a base colour first. Uh, that's what that's changing, so you can see. Um, shout out base colour in the options for us, guys, and we'll go with that one. Um, I'll keep cycling through them. Um, Ross. Like I said, we had the race net guys in uh, sort of last week, but obviously there's going to be a couple of people watching this stream that haven't um, probably haven't heard of RaceNet. They might not have even heard of Grid2. Um, so for those people that are watching, what is RaceNet? Uh, so RaceNet is kind of uh, an umbrella service to bring together all of uh, all of Codemasters uh, games and uh, and your racing career really. Um, Grid Two marks the the full release of it. Um, it's been kind of in a in a beta phase up until now. Um, and one of the things we're really excited about with Grid Two is uh, that RaceNet is actually going to supply content for in game. So we have uh, the Global Challenge. Uh, set of uh, events where every week uh, RaceNet will uh, send down nine events um, different every week for you and your mates to compete against each other asynchronously and so we've got a combination of, of like power lap events, uh, drift events, checkpoint and there is one other uh, quick um, quick, no, well, <laughs> quick times running out. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll, you'll be. It's uh, all about who can uh, get the uh, the best accumulative performance across those. Um, and also, RaceNet brings the rival system to the table, where even if you haven't got any friends, it'll find a player who's a similar skill level to you uh, somewhere in the world and pair you up with them. Awesome. Uh, why is there a dog in the game? I've never noticed that dog before. <laughs> he doesn't drive any car. <laughs> <laughs> the dog needs a name. There's also a squirrel as well. Yes, there is. I've noticed yeah, the squirrel. Tell in, uh, people about the squirrel. Yeah, there's a squirrel in California, and then there is also a rabbit somewhere. I've I've heard a uh, rabbit. Yeah, anecdotal evidence of yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll upload uh, upload your video clips to the uh, to the net when you uh, when you come across. When you that. find the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> ben, have we got a colour? Uh, We've had every colour, haven't we? Yeah, I've had every. A dog smiling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big up for the dog. <laughs> uh, go with a nice grey. A nice grey? A nice grey. A nice grey. I think it was referred to as that grey. Right, grey. Grey is. I want to go flip again. I think grey and white gives it a nice silver. What do you think, guys? Mm, right, yeah, okay, cool. we'll go with that. Um, right, next up, pattern colour is the black. Ooh, this is going to be a tricky one. I don't know what's going to work here. We're going to have to flip. Oh, no, it's right at the back. See, as it's Paul Coleman's car, I really want to make it look like bright pink or something, but I don't think the guys that are watching the stream want another bright pink car. <laughs> Should we play it safe and go with, like, a black? What do you think? Let's go boring. Boring? Boring. <laughs> I'll make up my driving. Yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. Okay, uh, onto the red. Um, something else as well. It's something that we're not actually showing in this stream, but um, we have sort of full control over the sponsors as well that you stick on your car. Um, how does the progression system work with? What's the differences between that between this and the first one? Because there is quite a, there's a little bit of difference between how you get sponsors and what they do for you once you've got them on your car. So um, in the single player uh, portion of the game, uh, as you become a more prominent driver and as the, the WSR, World Series Racing, uh, attracts more and more attention, you'll have bigger and bigger brands uh, become available to put on your car. And um, each one uh, has uh, an objective attached to it where they're kind of saying, if you, if you can do this, then we can attach this many fans to, uh, to our brand and to you. Um, so they help push you through the game. So you do get a boost for having them on then? Yeah, yeah, you'll win. You'll earn, you'll earn additional fans for, uh, for, yeah, their, for wearing their brand on your car. Um, across in the, in the multiplayer, things are a bit more, a bit more freeform. Um, as you level up, you'll unlock the sponsors. Uh, so the best sponsors are, are a bit further down the line, but at the start, you've still got plenty to choose from. Um, and yeah, it's up to you, how you uh, who you want on, on the side of your car, really. Awesome. I don't know. I don't know which way to go with this honeycomb effect here. What do you think? Do you think the black? That is looking pretty yeah. neat with the grey detail. I think. The, I think uh, we've got to drop the yellow, the though, haven't we? Mesh. Do we need to drop the yellow? What, I don't. What can you? I go don't know where to go. Pink. Pink. We can go with the pink. We'll put some pink on Coleman's car. There we go. Just check out the uh, the extra bonnet detailing you had there as well. That's uh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. Wheel selection time. 
Right, where are uh, wheels? There we go. Into the wheels. Oh, we've got a massive... Ben, we need a number. Guys that are listening on the stream, we need a number between 1 and 51. Let's see what we get. It's quite a hefty choice in there. Do you yeah. guys? How do you guys get the designs of the wheels into the car? Is it just a case of you researching them on the internet, or do you need to get hold of the actual wheels to be able to model them properly? Well, we have uh, we have a team of, uh, of kind of uh, vehicle artists who are all absolute car nuts, and uh, you know they they've all uh, all had their ideas about what kind of uh, wheel sets they want to create. So uh, yeah, we've we've kind of let them put in what they want to see. They're the real experts, and that's something we we really really do do in the studio is the people who are the experts and the really passionate guys about particular things. You know, we let them call the shots in that respect. Um, and, you know, as long as they can stay away from uh, copyright infringement, basically, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, whatever they want to do is, is good by us. So they're free to make up their wheels then? Yeah, yeah, essentially, yeah. Awesome. Right, um, I don't know what... Ben, have we got a number? 39. 39. Back this way. Uh... That's not bad. Mm. Think should we go a bit bigger on the rim size? Yeah. Oh, maybe, no, maybe a little bit too far that time. There we go. We'll <laughs> go with that one. I think we should go back in, give it another, give it a splash of colour. Okay, this is going to be our second. Oh, pink. I don't, I don't know, know what it green, is. Pink. Not green wheels. I love again. green wheels. Ah. Yes. <laughs> we should give it. What about gold? Should put we give the pink, it? Put the pink on. We'll give it some gold as almost sort of a, a heritage to to rally cars and. <laughs> the, no, the, yeah, the, the impressor. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, we'll go with that. There we go. That's. Uh, I think in the end we did end up ruining Paul Common's car. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cream. <truck. laughs> so there we go. There's our second one. Um, we need to give it a name. Oh, we was going to call it after the guy. We'll call it Cal after the guy who picked the uh, who packed the picked the livery. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll go into store. It's not a shop, it's the store. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, and to do one, Cal. There we go. That's our BMW M1. Beautiful. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be, uh, you'll be down the BMW dealership ordering yourself. <laughs> 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 probably, probably not, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, we're going to get ready now. We're going to show you off. Um, we're going to show you off a track back that you first seen in one of our very first trailers. It's Brands Hatch. It's uh, it's a fan favourite with uh, touring car fans. Uh, something which is also uh, also going to be available in Grid Two. Uh, Brands Hatch is there's a lot of heritage and uh, everybody really loved sort of what they're seeing. But this is going to be the first time you guys are going to be able to proper properly see the track. Um, so I'll pass that over to you, Joe, while you get ready. Thank you. Um, Okie doke. Right, Ross. Um, something that's sort of come up a little bit, um, on, I suppose, over the last couple of live streams is sort of how the game handles. Um, it's not it's not something you can really let people see to an extent. Even on the live stream, you guys, it's a feeling more than anything, um, which now makes me sound really marketed because we've called it <laughs> true feel. Um, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about the true feel system and sort of how it works. Okay, so uh, we've worked with uh, with real life racing drivers, uh, guys who've, who've driven the, the the range of cars in the game, and uh, yeah, really tried to capture the subtleties of each different one. But primarily, awesome. it's about making the player the hero, putting them at the centre of the action. You know, we want people to be able to pick up the game and within a couple of laps be putting in the massive power drifts like they're some kind of awesome television test driver. Right. Okay. So obviously we're going over to uh, uh, to Brands Hatch. Um, is this something that do you guys have to go out to the track to be able to sort of recreate it properly in the game? Uh, yeah. I mean, we're we're really fortunate that a lot of uh, locations uh, work work closely with us, and uh, so with people like Brands Hatch, you know, they'd be they'd be making their data available to us to make sure we we capture what it's all about. Um, if you then compare that to some of our city locations, we send uh, a, an artist and a level designer out there to research it, take hundreds of hours of video, thousands of photos, and then they come back uh, and, and work with 
what would be the best track to have in a city so you know if they need to knock down a tower block we'll let them have a bit of creative license there make sure they can make something something awesome you know put in a bit of adverse camber where required but um but yeah with the the motorsport circuits we try and make those as, as faithful to real life as we can awesome right okay I'm going to hand back over to Joe now. He's going to take us for a spin around Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. Um, we're actually doing this one backwards just to show you guys something a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoy and we'll be back soon.
there you go guys um, that was Brands Hatch on the indie circuit in the BMW M1 um, very first time you've seen both of those as well it's been a week of exclusives this week I think we've done quite well I hope you uh, hope everyone out there likes likes what we've uh, shown really um, I, I, we have had a message while we were sort of doing that race apparently I'm not allowed to design liveries anymore um, <laughs> I'd like to point out that was a community creation <laughs> um, so yeah we'll, uh, we'll try and get some screenshots or something of the video replay up on YouTube uh, for you guys to watch back we want to see those cars out on track uh, on May 31st and May 28th when the game launches um, something we're really looking forward to uh, we're going to have more live streams sort of coming up as well with planning on doing sort of one every Thursday so if you guys have got anything that you want to see in a future live stream if you've got an idea something you want to see more of next week we're completely flexible um, this week's one showing off the customization was because everybody last week wanted to see more customization from the little bit we've shown yep. so we're totally flexible on what we're doing um, we just need you to send us uh, send us over your sort of ideas and what you want to see um, you can join us on uh, Twitter at twitter.com slash grid game uh, we're also on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash grid game um, we've got replays of all of our old trailers, um, all of our old live streams. Um, you can find out a little bit more about what the WSR is as well in our WSR trailers over on youtube.com slash grid game. Um, loads of information. I feel like I'm just reeling it off now. <laughs> <laughs> we've also got the IGN wiki, uh, which is sort of a hub that we've built over on IGN. Ben is going to very politely drop a link into the chat box for that. Um, we'll also drop a link a little bit later on on Twitter for you guys as well. Um, if you pop over there, basically every little piece of information we release as we release it, we'll put it up on the IGN wiki. You'll be able to find things like the wheel list, um, system specs for the PC, um, cars that we've announced, info on all the tracks, everything, it's all there. Um, also as well, if you happen to be watching from the UK, um, we're going on tour uh, with the game store. You'll be able to sort of come along to one of the local game stores and have a go of Grid 2. It's something that we really want people to do, but it's quite hard because we can't fit you all in the building. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, we're going to be going on the tour of game stores. Um, ben will drop a link into the, there on the chat box as well. Um, so if you're in the UK, we'd love to see you pop along and you can you can have a go, finally have a go on Grid 2 before it's out. Um, if you like what you're seeing tonight as well, um, by all means swing by our pre-order page, which is preorder.griggame.com. Um, there's a couple of different sort of pre-order bonuses that we've got with different retailers, and it's different for every country, so I won't rattle them all off and bore you to death. Um, but, uh, but they are there. If you just go to that website, it'll take you through to our Facebook app, which will show you all of the retailers for your country and what you can get from each of the retailers. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think you've, you've pretty much covered everything. Uh, I, I think I've exhausted <laughs> everything. You did a sterling job. Um, guys, it has been great to have you down. Um, we hope that everybody watching has really enjoyed the live stream. Um, like I said, it's been really fun. We'll be back next Thursday from 6pm here on Twitch TV. Um, we'll have the YouTube replay up as quick as we can, hopefully some point tomorrow. Um, best thing to do, like I said, follow us on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash grid game. Um, that's the best way to keep up with all of the grid news. Thank you very much for being our driver this evening. Not a problem at all. Ross, it's been a pleasure. All right, thanks for having me. Luke, say goodbye. Bye. Ben, say goodbye. Goodbye. Alex. See you later. Man from audio. Chris. Chris, <laughs> his name I forgot. Man from audio. Man from audio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs>